So you brought up a good point about potentially sharing with your employer how you're feeling. I think it's a very vulnerable conversation. It's a scary conversation. Obviously, there's a stigma towards mental health or there previously was. And I feel like we're still trying to transition out of that. So how do you talk to your boss to let them know like that your mental health is affecting or impacting your day-to-day performance? Yeah, I think that's a really tricky question because it's so down to the employer. So for example, if you worked for Dive Through, that's the norm. You know, there isn't any judgment. Hey, I'm in there with you. I, you know, I I cried on a call with two team members the other day because big COVID's been hard. Um, of course, we still, you know, keep a professional workplace. So I think first and foremost, when it comes to your mental health, you need to know who is and isn't safe to discuss mental health with. Because unfortunately, a lot of managers, a lot of owners will not be at times sympathetic. And you need to kind of like suss out that dynamic. A lot of the time, if there's someone, you know, like a millennial, um, if you have a Gen Z boss, um, okay, there might be some more understanding there. And I think it's just firstly addressing, do you think this is a safe workplace? Do you think this person is safe to disclose this to? And then if you have HR though, that is what HR exists. However, knowing that HR still exists to operate on behalf of the company to get most productivity out of you. But HR is normally the person, regardless of whether they are a boss or a manager or however, how whatever age they are, like they're meant to be the person you can go to in that instance. And I think there's kind of two sides. There is, hey, I need a day. Totally. Take that as a sick day. There's nothing wrong with that. However, if there's something more in depth going on that you're noticing that your performance is being impacted by an aspect of your job, there's going to be a little more intervention that's required for that. So going to HR, if possible, if, if it's possible to have a, you know, if you think the boss is someone that's safe to go to, having that conversation and coming prepared. Unfortunately, I think if you can be self aware of, you know, this is the problem that I'm struggling. This is some ways I think I can, you know, there could be some solutions, whether I take, you know, this day off or, you know, I might need two weeks off. Um, So coming in with a plan, I think is really helpful. Writing down what you want to say and communicate, because I think a lot of the time in those instances, it's very emotional. So do what you can to be as concise about what you're going through so that you can communicate that properly. So I think make sure the person is safe or go to HR, really make sure that you have a plan that would be, you know, that you've thought through of what you really need and a potential solution, and then be as concise as possible. But also don't overshare. Even in our work atmosphere, like that's actually like a rule that we brought in. And I'm kind of like, you know, if you're needing a mental health day, you do not need to disclose why? Not because I don't care, but because as your employer, that's none of my fucking business. Um, and it's also not your employers. So knowing that you don't need to like pull out your whole trauma. And if that's the atmosphere that they're creating, that's unsafe. So never expect to need to overshare, give the amount of information that, you know, you think communicates what's going on with you, but don't like, you know, go into the whole thing, because that could lead to more emotions that could also lead to being taken advantage in the future and being discredited. So, you know, unfortunately, this as much as this is an employee's problem, this is a bigger employer problem and how employers address this. So, you know, you're in a losing battle in this instance because of that dynamic. So do what you can as the individual, but hey, corporations, we need to, you know, better be better at this for those that work with us. 